really we're live what sh should we do everything really slowly oh ka -ching. live ka -ching. good morning everybody i am ka -chinging. what a oh, excellent timing someone had then i bet it i bet it's a viewer i bet it is. i bet it's one of your fans um I don't recognise the username on eBay, but then I wouldn't, would I? Because they don't all use the same YouTube name. And I heard the word fans and I'm ignoring it, just so you know. Just in case you thought you were being clever, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> right. I thought we were going to fight then. Okay, let's say some ullos, shall we? Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Abitoria33, good morning. Uh, Claire Borden, Claire Carrot Juan. Uh, Deb Hughes, Julie Curry, Heather Wood, I think that's the, the treasure pirate in her, in her alter ego, Claire Riley, Claire Count 2, Deb's T, Laura Eccleston, Siebel, Antoinette Daly, Lainey's there, Elizabeth Greasley says, it's very windy where she is, she might need my windproof pegs, I can talk about pegs for hours, shall we have a peg chat? <laughs> Jason, Gina, um, uh, blah, 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 Deb, if I said Deb, I'll say Deb again, just in case, Claire Plant, I think I'm on three Claire's. You are. Flipping X. There's a Lisa coming up though, so you know. I have plans to shout out to my mum Sue. Yay, Sue! Woo! Sue crew. Uh, Rebecca and Lainey again and Kelly Flippin Paines and uh Judy Pearson, uh Scrolly Scrolly Damien and I forgot how to read. Nia who says Nia like says the chat and moved to eleven. I like the earrings that you got from Kelly. They're nice, aren't they? I've got them in now. They're very pretty. Really pleased with them, yeah. But also, kind of stole my birthday present idea. Ah. <laughs> you just hate that when you're like, oh, I've got a good idea for a birthday present, and then they go and buy themselves the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Nia said she thought the chat had moved to 11, and we did talk about moving it to 11, but we haven't actually taken the plunge yet because at the moment i'm still able to get back from my boot sale at a reasonable time when my second boot sale opens which they're talking about opening mid-july then i will not want to rush back in time to be here for 10 so so it's all still a bit fluid at the moment so just so keep I, I on your toes. About the bridge end, so i tell them about the bridge end card yeah tell them about the bridge end one so it's due to open today which i didn't know because there's nothing on their facebook page so i woke up at about half past six this morning and um because i'd seen that um edward antiques arena had like messaged on their page so i was like oh if edward's there i could maybe you know meet him there kind of thing um so then i messaged the page going like oh are you open today and then they replied um oh someone's changed the locks so they've been locked out of their own car boot sale hey <laughs> only in wales folks only in wales typical <laughs> Um, Ms. Cambridge, Jackie Funstuff, Chris Tyler, Sam retelling Polly. Sorry? I hope Edward didn't go because he's got a long way. Oh, let's hope not because he could be standing outside now thinking you're a twat. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, where are we now? Um, I've, it's gone off in my hand as usual. Yeah, so Rebecca says it was later last week, but I've only ever known it to be 10 a.m. Like I said, we are still, it's still a bit of a fluid thing. When I started doing the Sunday morning thing way back in 1873, just after, you know, just after the Norman Conquest, that was 1066, not, not showing off my history skills here. When I started doing it, it was, I never nailed it down to any time at all. It was always when I come back from the boot sale, I do a live stream. And the reason I did that was because I didn't want to be pinned to being back for a certain time. I like to go for breakfast and stuff like that. So it's still, I'm, I, whilst, whilst I know it's easier for the viewers, it's all about me. It's all about me. Fans can wait anyway. Sorry? The fans can wait anyway. Fans, when wait. you stop saying fans, I wish I'd never told you I said that. <laughs> Joy Dickinson, Miss Cambridge, I think I've said already. Uh, Lavender Lady, Carol, Lisa Marshall, there's a Lisa for you. Johnny Bumblebee, Lisa J, two Lisas. Josh is in and he's screaming Little Gay Josh in capital letters. We've changed him. He's not going to be Little Gay Josh anymore. He's going to be Hairy Fairy Josh now, I think. Or was it something like that? But I like Little, I like little Gay Josh. <laughs> Apparently, little gay Josh also likes being called little gay Josh. He was telling me yeah. this morning, he's absolutely fine with it. 
uh, Laurel, uh, Intelligent Zombie, Mike Dando, Julie Posh Totti, I love that name, Martina Rila, Jane Friel, Christine Eigen, 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 if that's Turkish, I think it's pronounced Eigen, sorry if I'm mispronouncing you, um, two kids, two cats, one dog and a job, says, uh, that's, that's Karen, it just trips off the tongue, morning, can't see, I'm off to do a dummy run at church, ready for next Sunday, oh, you're opening, reopening next Sunday, that means I can send you that box of stuff, now that you've got somewhere for it to move on to, I'll get that out of the way. Lovely. Um, Patricia Adele. I haven't done, we're half an hour in and I haven't done the hellos yet. Ashley Subad, Wolf, Gary Nicholson. Intelligence obviously says, let's see if Carla can lose her breath this morning saying hi to everyone. I think I can. Lisa Richardson. I don't, I don't know if I... Richard Un. I don't know if there's an S missing there. Are you on three Lisas? I'm on three Claire's. Chris Kimber says, first time in. Welcome, Chris. But pretty much this is the say hello to people show. Jones there. Steve's in. He says, yeah, who cares about who has little people, eh, Carla? <laughs> Kimberly Byrne, B Max. I don't know if I've missed everyone. Charlotte Bradbury. I'm sure I've missed loads of people. Ashley. Now, look at this. Ashley says, <laughs> Carla, I have those pegs. They are freaking awesome. I have arthritis in my hands and they also help when you get stiff hands. Sorry, enough peg talk. Never enough peg talk. I'm going to rename it the Peg Show. <laughs> Uh, Catherine McConnell's there, and, and I'm just going to say that I think I've got to the bottom, and if I... Oh, hand-painted by Claire, for Claire's. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Oh, Kelly says I missed her. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> How are we doing? Yeah, great. Bye. I need a nap after all. Oh, I missed Fandria. Morning, Fandria. Morning, Tracy Baker. So sorry. I've it had, disappears I've, off and I don't always catch up with it in the right place. I've had eggs for breakfast. Did you? Did you have oh. bread? Mum's off on a recce. It's quite exciting, actually. But she can't wait. My my sister who lives in Barry, which is like um, a train ride away or like two bus rides away, hmm. um, has seen a house that she likes and it's like over there. It's like... Ooh. 10 minute walk away and it's really nice and my sister is properly like she went to see it and she's in love with it and it's all very dated inside which is perfect so mum's gone on a scouting mission yeah just to, to work out like the quickest route there and yeah. stuff like that to you know have a look from the outside and you know look What'd like a weird oh I know I know I was like so when are you moving in <laughs> Steve says does your sister know Stacey and um, do you know what they actually live maybe about two streets, three streets away from like the road that it was filmed on. It's going to be weird if your sister turns out to be someone that I sold something to once and I dropped it off there because I was going that way anyway. And then when I went down the back of their street, I went down and I was, oh shit, that's Gwen's house. I've just realised where I am. It's going to be weird that if would, that turns out to be your sister. That would be weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Kelly's in and says, hello, you two make me smile. We do our best. There's a lot of peg talk in the chat. I'm not the only one with the um, with the thing about pegs. Massive Action says, I wouldn't buy a house. We're heading for a crash. People will fall into negative negative equity. I think if you're buying your home that you want to carry on living in, you don't give a poo about the equity side of things, do you? It's going to be the, like, the, you know, forever home. Yeah. So, and and I think they're, they're like, uh, they're going to be pretty much mortgage-free, I think. Ne very nearly mortgage-free. Because they can sell their one for more than what this one is. Hmm. By the of it. Emma Armour says, good morning. Did you go to Compton this morning? I did. It was poor. It was a poor showing at Easter. Yeah. I mean, I think the weather puts a lot of people off. So there were very few amateur sellers there this morning. Um, obviously, mm. we've had such touchy weather over the last few days. It's just belted down here again a second ago. just suddenly went whoosh. And the sheer volume, you're like, what happened? Oh, my God. Oh, you've just thrown me Bumblebee has just super chatted a massive £25. Thank you so much, Bumblebee. Aww. And she says, just because. Thank you so much. That's incredibly generous of you. Thank you. Just because I'm coming down next week and uh, you're going to um, buy me a McDonald's. That's pretty much all I can buy. You can still nowhere else open. Still. Still nowhere else to eat. I'm coming down on the 4th of July and we are... Driving around Independence Day. <laughs> Independence Day until we find a pub that I can sit outside in the garden and have a drink and I have food. I don't think the pubs are open. What? I don't think the pubs are open. 
restaurant then anything <laughs> well, I'll, well I'll, I'll, I'll give you a beer in the garden emma says they were due to sell at easter compton but oh, um yeah, but on July the 4th, oh, come 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 well i'll find you one I'll find you one. Okay, Emma says they were due to sell, but the weather stops. That's what I, yeah, that's I think that's where I was going, wasn't it? That, um, obviously, the amateur sellers weren't out. The traders that are there week in, week out, because that, that, that's their livelihood, isn't it? But the people who are only having a clear out go, we'll do it next week when the sun comes out. So, um, Barbara <laughs> says, Bumblebee is definitely a fan. Please stop saying the word fan. I'm never going to live that down. George says Indian takeaway. Well, if we can't yeah. find a pub. Yeah. standard um but they will be open on july the 4th there's yeah, all julie's saying they can all open but the, what i'm saying is they the may reason not. I'm, I'm just downplaying is because officially all the charity shops should be open and they aren't so i'm just like yeah but but <laughs> but 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 right people aren't i mean we're desperate for the charity shops to open but the UK isn't. The UK are like, oh, yeah. The shop. UK as a whole definitely want to get back in the pub. Yeah. And remember, lots of volunteers in charity shops, in pubs, paid. Paid. People need to yeah, be paid. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So Bumblebee says kept her going through lockdown. Well, you're very, very welcome oh, for wow. that. And uh, in fairness, you guys have kept us going as well. It's given us structure and something to do and, and, and a reason to get up in the mornings, isn't it, really? Being, yeah. Being, being YouTubers, um, being YouTubers again. That sounds so fucking poncy. Being, being an influencer. <laughs> you know what? I, I honestly, honestly have no idea. Like I've done, I've done what like a month's worth of everyday vlogging, and and I'm just like, how many more days can I show? This is what I've had for breakfast. This is what's going out. This is my living room. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, all of you doing dailies. I mean, doing the weekly is enough for me. It's doing the so weekly waffle, hard work. And, like, and then sometimes I look at the waffle. I go, "Why? Well, I don't know why people are watching this. I really, really don't." And I feel like I should put up an apology at the beginning of the waffle yeah. and at the end every week. Sorry about this. Well, Sorry, well, this. Well, I'm just going to put in my vlog pretty much the same as yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Groundhog Day. Yeah. Josh, the hungry horse open on the sixth, so you'll have to stay till the sixth. What day is that? Is that the Monday? Yeah. Well, we can have breakfast there before I go. People are just deliberately using the word fan now just to just to poke me in my <laughs> in my embarrassment. <laughs> it just it, I didn't mean it. It just I, I didn't mean it the way it came out. I just I'm I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not I refuse to justify myself. You don't have to. Joan says that we are we are also her reason to get up in the morning. But yeah, sorry, where I was bimbling away to with that was that the friends I've made through YouTube and the knowing that that if I put a weekly waffle out and it's gone and, and I've gone well, I'm bothered getting out of bed all week, then people will know. You know, that has has made me get on with it a bit. So I'm yeah. Same, same actually, knowing that I've got to film something, it's like you know, there have been some days where, where I really could have just done absolutely, and some days I have done absolutely nothing. Um, but it's like, oh, well, at least I'll, I'll have a bath and then that's something. Or like, I'll walk into town. And yet you never vlogged that. I've never once seen you nudie in your bath. Well, you kind of have, but it was very quick. I think you should do one of those massive bubble baths and then do a kind of tantalising peak of a kneecap or something, you know? Well, I did I did my toes in the bath, but um, I very quickly panned and you could almost just for a second see like the reflection in like a bit of like tap. Would you, do you, do you come out upside down in a tap like you do in a spoon? No, but you do come out very distorted, like quite long, I think. Yeah. <laughs> like a hall of mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> Sue says we watch for the peg talk and the drama of trees potentially falling on you when you're on the plumbing. I yeah. swear to God, that day I was like, this tree's coming down. I'm just, you know, the last, the waffle would just fade to black as the tree just comes down. And then I was like, it won't be will it? Because nobody will publish the waffle if I'm crushed by a tree. My yeah. family are not going to go, oh, we must make sure the waffle goes out on Tuesday. I will. I, not. <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll come down and, and, then, and then I'll do like one of those, you know, like at the BAFTAs where they go like, oh, people we have lost. And it'll be sad music in your face. <laughs> Josh has been researching. Are you ready? 
I know, I just seen. <laughs> we will find somewhere to go. Okay. Um, Kath's asking who were the Kaching? It was the it was the completion Kaching of the earlier Kaching. So it was the lady paying for the offer that I accepted when the first Kaching came through. Does that make sense? Yes. I'm just going to shut this window a minute because it's like the wind's picking up and it's getting loud. Oh. Laura says that she doesn't want to watch perfect people in their perfect homes with their perfect holes. Well, why do you watch me then? Because I am perfect person in my perfect home. I love the way she's put, I love the real lives and waffle rather than I like watching you shit people in your shit lives and your shit homes, which is more the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joan says that was spooky. What was spooky, Joan? What was spooky? Now I feel so. It's gone very quiet. Now I shut that window. I feel like I've been shouting all along. Sorry if I've been bellowing at you, by the way, people. Okay. Can you still hear me, Lex? Because it's gone so yeah. quiet. I'm not convinced you're there anymore. Yeah, no, I'm here. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so, yeah, my car boot, piss poor. Piss poor this morning, yeah. just traders. And also, everybody seems to have forgotten how to walk one way and stay away from each other. It was never going to last, was it really? Yeah, social distancing today, not a thing. Not a thing at all. Including the guy who kept... he was. I was, I was buying a tripod and I was kept trying to not be in the zone and he kept coming into the zone. I was like, I'm just backing away at this rate, mate. I'll be back outside the gates and you'll still be coming forward and talking. You know? And then at the, end of it, at the end of it, he was like, I think it's all bullshit, don't you? I was like, well, I did get that impression that that was how you felt. By the fact that you've tried to be inside my clothes with me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mind you, he did, in, in fairness, he was wearing two hearing aids, so it's possible that he's got in the habit of getting closer to people so that he can hear what they're saying. And yeah. I would think a lifetime of that is probably quite difficult to break, isn't it? You know? Yeah, true. So, yeah, yeah. Thinking, of, thinking about that, he probably had a... Yeah, yeah Josh is saying that guy really, really, really wanted to show you the track. He really did. He really did go in. I, I just wanted to buy a tripod. I didn't want a tripod demonstration, but I got one. Oh, Joan says the tree was spooky. Yeah, I honestly sat there thinking that tree was going to fall on my head. Tracy Baker says, me and my daughter watch your videos. We call it our color time. She's 15 and off school and especially loves your cooking ones. Well, I aim to please and I'll try to swear less in front of your 15-year-old. Although it probably won't work. Although the 15-year-old probably knows more swear words than you. Probably well, better than I do, yeah. Yeah. The one good thing about the car boot being poor is it saves a fortune. I spent, I think I spent less than Josh. No. <laughs> if you don't include my tripod, which is not for reselling, that's for my personal use, I think I spent. I do love how Josh this morning was like, was like, oh, he spent was it six pound fifty, and then he goes like, yeah, it was really rubbish this morning. It's like, Josh, that's like that's like twice what you normally spend. I spent three pound fifty. Shame. <laughs> I spent apart from my tripod and my bits of wire, which I will I will expand upon in a minute. I spent three pound fifty. It was not a good car boot sale this morning. It better be good oh, Josh said his mask was hiding the laugh, and I kept catching Josh's eye, and he was he was kind of like hovering, and I, and I was like, I'm sure he's I'm sure he's laughing under that mask because he's, he's putting the tripods up, and I'm like, yeah, I just want to buy a tripod. I know how they work, you know, I'm not new. <laughs> the, the, the trouble with wearing masks is that you also can't um, do the. I mean, sometimes it's good when you can't show your disapproval of something on your face. But you know, you, you read your faces. Things. Conversation is not just about listening to words. It's yeah, also you go. expressions and stuff. And, yeah. and it's, yeah, I found that very difficult because I also have mild hearing issues. I, I don't separate background noise from conversation very well. It all melds together and I struggle with that. So I didn't realise until, until masks became a thing how much lip reading aids with that. Yeah. Same. So now, yeah. that I, now that I can't see people, I also can't fucking hear them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Karen says, um, hello, my lovely. Sorry I'm late and I'm on the phone with my little sister. Hello, Karen's sister. A lady says, how much did Josh spend? £3.51. Josh spent £6.50 and I spent £3.50. That is the world, has, the world has turned on its head. <laughs> and, and yeah. <laughs> Sue says, call yourself a reseller. 3 three fifty is pitiful. <laughs> 
Yeah, we had a bit of that this morning, didn't we? So, yeah, Lisa, still find it hilarious watching car video and people say, how much is this? And the seller says, that was £200 new, what size are you? I know what it is, I know how much it is, I know. It, I just want to know how much you want for it. That's all I'm asking. Mm. <laughs> but I, I got myself, I got myself a tripod. And it is a good, big beast of a tripod, and it would have been about £50, £60 new, I think. Maybe more. But um, I wanted a, a decent, strong one for tall tripoding. This is very boring. It's nearly as interesting as pegs. So my old tripod, I'm going to going to expand upon this tripod subject. This is my original tripod and tripod tripod. And it does do tall, but I snapped a foot off last week or maybe the week before. And now you can't pull that leg out. So I've I got a tripod. I've got a tripod in my garage that I spent a hundred quid on. And that I could have had for, yeah. That's great. Cheers. Thanks for thanks for mentioning that. Oh. I've been talking about tripods in my waffles for weeks now. Weeks. Yeah, but I'm actually not going to sell it because it's oh, a really right. good tripod. <laughs> All right. So yeah, so I got this really nice, 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 quite decent tripod, um, and and I know how it works because the man showed me endlessly. And it was fifteen pounds. So I'm pleased with that. That's a, that's a little bit of a bargain. A little bit of a bargain there. Well done. Um, Josh says, I even spent £3 on one item. And then he had to have a lie down afterwards. <laughs> yeah, he went over and had a big breakfast to get over it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, Josh is laughing. There was a bloody guy sent some placemats, and I was, and he was like, and I was like, how much? And he's like, oh, I want £5 for them. They're £30. Like, yeah, lovely. I don't want them at £5. Thank oh. you. See, when when people when people say that to me and go like, oh, they're, they're 30 quid on eBay, I do the, oh, you should probably sell them on eBay then. Yeah. Tina's laughing. She's saying, did you make money at the car boot sale? I did, Tina, because I spent £3.50 and I made a tenner. <laughs> Tina's, Tina's bought the Disney jigsaw that um, that mum is currently wrestling with. Tina sent me a message and said, could she have that? And I said, by all means you can, but mum hasn't actually finished it. So I don't know for sure that all the bits are there. So if all the bits aren't there, Tina will have her tenner back. But she paid me for it this morning at the boot sale and then she's going to have it when mum's finished. I said to mum, no Thank pressure, you. but I've sold that. <laughs> she was like, oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, kind of hurry up and finish it. Yeah, so I actually came away from the boot sale with um with more money than I went with. Nice. Joe says that's a Mathis tripod. It's, it it doesn't say Mathis on it. It says it says just gonna Elora. get it back. Elora. 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 But it's nice, heavy duty. You know, if I needed to kill someone with it, I could get a good. Sorry, but hiccups. Not that that's what I look for in a tripod. Obviously, you know, good killability, but. It's always useful. So I've got terrible hiccups. Lainey says, I need to buy a tripod and the grippy thing for the wheelchair. And when you say the grippy thing for the wheelchair, Lainey, are you talking about a gorilla pod? If you are talking about a gorilla pod, then don't buy one because I can let you have mine. I've got a Joby gorilla pod here. I do not use it because I do not do a lot of action -y stuff, funnily enough, as you can probably tell by looking at me. And if this is what you want. Let me know and I'll send it to you. Didn't I make you put one of those or something similar in a filler bag once and you were like, I don't need it. And I'm like, no, just put it in anyway. Something yeah, I think like Anthony that. had that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So if if, um, if this is the kind you're talking about, Lainey, let me know. And um, you can buy, like I said, that'll save you a few quid. Joby is the good brand, is it? Joby is the Joby are the nice ones. So, but yeah, it's, it's just, it, it's not, for it, it doesn't fit into what I do. Steve says, has the garage moved closer to Lex's house? Yes, it moves, it, moves, it moves an inch closer every day. It possibly does, you know what, with fault lines and, mm -hmm. and, and earth mm -hmm. movement and whatever. You could probably wake up tomorrow morning and Gary, the garage man, is going to be right there looking at you getting, getting dressed in the morning. Oh, he does anyway. <laughs> okay, Lainey, no worries. I will send that, um, send that on to you ASAP. ASAP. Down with the kids. Do you want to see what I bought with me? £3.50. Oh, I also bought these. These, these aren't in the £3.50. These They're... are coaxial cables. I am having an ongoing situation with that mm, yeah. bedtime aerial. I bought another aerial. That's in this week's waffle, me wrestling with new, new aerial. Not oh. old, new aerial. New, new aerial. Where's this pegs? Now it now it's cable. <laughs> so um so yeah, that watch out watch out for these turning up in a waffle near you. 
I've got a box of cables down there if you want them, if you've got a thing about cables. I haven't, I really haven't. I'm rummaging through this morning looking for these damn, in, you know, in every every car boot you go to, there's always massive boxes of random leads and I'm rummaging through and Josh is rummaging and we're just like, Ugh. Oh yeah, I, I have no idea what any of these cables are for. I got rid of a massive box a while ago. And I'm pretty sure every, every cable I'll ever need for the rest of my life was in that box. For sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Josh says, when you're done with the tripod vlog at £50 on eBay, I'm going to keep it and make videos for my fans. She's not even joking, though. I am joking, I am. Wobble your head at me. I'll tell you all the pubs are shut. Watch you cry again. <laughs> Karen says, can I have a gold star, please? I've done some eBay work. You can have a little round of applause. Well done. Well done, you. Actually well, sniggering about something, but I'm not sure what. And Julie says, when is your birthdays? Yours 20. is first. No, mine's first. Yours is first. Yours is, the, yours, yours is the 24th of July and mine's the, 20, uh, the 31st. Genuinely sat around and thought mine's the 31st, so Lexi's is before mine. <laughs> well, mine is the 24th and Lexi's is one week later. On the 31st, we are one week apart. And speaking of birthdays, uh, here's Stall. Yay, happy birthday to oh, you. It's today, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Okay, well, let's do a proper happy birthday then. All together in the chat. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy you deliberately do this. Happy birthday Happy birthday to you. We'll be right in about 10 minutes to give you the bumps, mate. Yay. Did you enjoy your whatever it was that Lex sent you that looked like it probably tasted all right, but I don't know because it didn't look like very, anything nice in it. You very politely sent me a message saying like, oh, it was very nice. And I'm like, oh, it's very nice of you to say so. Although to be fair, I had some and I microwaved it a little bit and it was all melty in the middle and, and actually it was quite nice. So, brownie's always nice and warm. Yeah. Yeah. Makes a big difference to a brownie. Trouble is, obviously, it had been in the fridge overnight, and the next day it kind of goes a little bit hard. But that's why microwave it, lots of cream, you know. Just tried to scroll up through the chat using my phone as a mouse and wondering why it won't work. So I'm going back to bed in a minute, I tell you. Ashley says, Carla, with all these fans, you might be asking random people if they know who you are. Isn't that right, Carmen? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lisa says, do you think pubs will have less customers due to a lot of people getting out of the habit and saving money by buying alcohol from the supermarket? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think so. Definitely. Yeah. On the other side of the coin, I think people are going to be so desperate to socialise, you know, so I think that's going to make a difference. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, it's kind of difficult to say that there's going to be like the Spoons crowd, you know, mm -hmm. and and that lot that uh, you know, a lot of people that are going to be acting as if nothing has ever happened and that everything is the same and they're going to feel really like, oh, she's a bit rubbish, you know, we've got, you know. Mm. Um, and then there's going to be a lot of people that I think are just happy to just go in and sit down and, and, and go, oh, isn't this? Nice? Because we're out. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> these people, other people. <laughs> Still says it was nice, the, brown, the brownie muck thing, whatever it was called. Yay. <laughs> uh, Deb's hoping to see a birthday live. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. We're, 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 we're focusing on the fourth at the moment, aren't we? Yes. Independence Day. Josh says you're not allowed to meet loads at the pub, though. It's apparently going to be limited to one other household only at a time. So that's well, not going to work, is it? People are just right. going to pretend they're brothers and they live together. Yeah. You know? Nobody um, meets up with other households at the pub. You meet up with the lads or the girls or whatever. Nobody goes, right, off, we're, we're the Wilsons and we're off to meet the Jeffersons for, at the pub. And people don't do that. Oh, I, don't to, I don't want to meet the Jeffersons. They're twats. They are the Jeffersons. are absolute knobheads. You wait. Somebody in the chat now is going to turn out to be a Jefferson. You wait. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Stor says, by the way, YouTube fans aren't fans. They're stands. They're half fans and half stalkers. <laughs> Could be true. <laughs> 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 Kelly says that if she thinks you have to book a table, right? Well, we'll get on that. We'll um, we'll be ready for that. We're, we're going to be on it. I don't even drink. Won't be going to spoons though. Won't be going to spoons. 
Julie says she just wants to sit in a beer garden on her own. She doesn't even want to meet people. Yeah, I'd be quite happy with that. Sit in a beer garden, yeah. <laughs> Do you have oh, to I see. Go to the pub. Mathis, I see. That tripod is Mathis. <laughs> yeah, Sue says people are already doing whatever they like anyway. They certainly were. Oh, God, wrong one. Sorry. They certainly were at the uh, car boot this morning. No social distancing. Uh, Pure Vintage is in. Hello. And Heatherwood says, my garden is the best beer garden for me. Also, you've got the delicious smell of McDonald's two doors down, haven't you, Heather? So that's always a win when you're sitting in your beer garden. Uh, stores meeting some friends later today for al fresco tea. I hope the weather. Mm -hmm. I hope the weather holds off where you are because every now and again, this this really nice sunshine here, and then suddenly it goes whoosh like somebody just took the plug out. And then, <laughs> do you want to see what I bought with my massive three pound fifty? Yeah. Quite frankly, it's half an hour in and you've only showed us one thing and some cables. They're really good cables, though. These cables. <laughs> I bought this. Well, hey. It is a bobble. It is Emily Button's ragdoll cat and it sells for 10 quid and I paid 50p. Way. Way. I bought these and I've lost one. So there was. Two of those, they're just molten, little molten brown travel size toiletries. A Marmite tin, Deb Hughes' mum, watch out. A Marmite tin and a Rubik's Tangle. Do you remember Rubik's Tangle? No, I don't think I so. Two quid for that, but one of the molten browns must still be in the trolley because I just realised I haven't got it. Rubik's Tangle is a flat puzzle game, so I get your nose. Oh, yes, I had that one, yeah. And then you, you have to kind of join them up and, and it's not as easy as it looks because they don't all... So you can't can't join yeah. that red to that yellow and so on and so forth. That would go for I, a good tenner as well. So that was a nice I thing. Think I, I had one of them when I went to uh, which museum in London? Some museum in London. Victoria No, not the v &A. National History. Yeah, it might have been that one. Probably that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, there you um, go. You saw the tin. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Lovely. That's, that's going off to Deb Hughes's mum. I should warn you, Deb Hughes's mum. Why is Deb Hughes's mum's name? Can't keep calling her Deb Hughes's mum. Mum Hughes. Mum Hughes, it's got a little bit of rust around the... the, the, the that's not the rim. That's the base. Oh. Let me know if that's an issue before we... Yeah, okay. It's not rust. It's patina. It's patina. <laughs> <laughs> Deb, Deb says Yvonne and Kelly says Mummy. Her name is Mummy. <laughs> Mummy. My mummy's name is Mummy. <laughs> Julie saying don't let Buddy get the teddy Buddy's not Buddy's not the problem But I could put that next to Buddy And he would raise a bushy eyebrow at it And go back to sleep No he Molly, wouldn't raise a leg and fart on it Molly is the issue Molly would have that in 18 bits Before you could say what happened there Oh Cass had a ka -ching, A live ka -ching, But it was just a payment for a purchase from yesterday Even so Nice when they pay and, that, and then I spent a pound, so that was two pound for the tin, the molten browns and the tangle. That was 50p. And then I spent a pound on this bit, and that's the rest of the haul. So pound on three comforters. This one is uh, holds your dummy for you, so you I don't have anything that resembles a dummy here. I've got these lovely cables. So it hooks through. Child has dummy in mouth. Child has um, table. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of like that, I suppose. And stops from losing the bloody thing. They sell they're, they're twenty quid each when they're new, but they, they don't seem to have quite as much on on resale. So even so, that should be a safe tenner. That one is Matalan, and I've sold that one recently for a tenner. And this one is just tiny treasures or something like that, or baby hugs or some card factory. But even that one should be a six or seven. So when you're getting twenty five p each or whatever, you know. Do you think they'll ever give up the comforters? Probably not because they're so damn cheap to buy. Even though, even though they're only not very exciting, when you know you can get three for a quid or whatever, and they sell for a tenner each, it's kind of like it's just simple money, isn't it? They're a very quick listing. So, and they're of course they're really easy to pack. Unlike a mug, one of the reasons I keep meaning to cut down on mugs is because of packing them and getting them there in one piece. So I've got really itchy back. <laughs> Why is that so good? Um, I don't know, but now I've got a really itchy back. <laughs> I can't get there. Where's the yeah. Turn around, then. 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, unlike the mugs, which you've got to try and get them there in one piece, they're an easy pack. And then this, bear in mind, bear, bear in mind these were four items for the quid. This is probably the pickup of the day, 25p for a Joe Brown's hooded jumper. That's quite nice. So that is, you know, that's probably the pickup of the day for the for the money, really. It's got a jersey hood and then a thick, chunky collar. And um, and yeah, and that's my whole haul and all of my haul. I should get Josh on to show us his haul. Yes, Josh, come on. Josh, do you want to join us and show us your haul, mate? Yeah. Show us your show us the double the amount that you have spent than Carla. Come on, show us your bits, Josh. Josh is probably not even there anymore. Josh is probably gone. Probably. Josh said, he says, "Who needs a dummy when you can give kids cables?" That would be my style of parenting, to be fair. Damien showing off. I think I only spent sixty-five pounds at my booth. I spent oh, three pound fifty. Sixty-five quid. Joan says her mummy's name was Mam, <laughs> and Kelly's mummy's name is also Mam. Well, they got the same mother. See, see, family secrets are coming out. It's all kicking off. <laughs> <laughs> and then two minutes later, when I when I've confirmed that, she's like, "See, I knew that." <laughs> Maybe I'll get Stan put on some merch as well. <laughs> I stand, Carla. <laughs> Aww. Josh says he doesn't know if his new internet will manage. Do you want to try, Josh, or not? If you if you want to try, let me know, and I'll send you the link. I can put the link in the chat. Yeah, come on, come on, Josh. Oh, buddy. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I went to I went to get the invite link and I, and I clicked the leave studio by mistake. <laughs> Honestly, I've only been doing this like three years and I, there's no way that I should know what I'm doing yet, obviously. <laughs> oh dear. That was mean. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's an actual an actual eBay related question. Well, not really a question. I've had two sales where the buyers have left specific messages about where to leave their parcel near their houses. Do they think I deliver it myself or know the person personally? I quite often print that out onto the label though and stick it on there. You know. Oh no, I, I, yeah, yeah. I do more. I do it in like you know quotations, like... in calligraphy, in flowing in flowing oh. cursive across the parcel. Yes. Using your, have it, uh, in your quill. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'd love to be able to write with a quill. Buddy, please go and lie down. Please go You would look down. like a dickhead, though. Go on, go on, like, yeah, especially when you're like in the bank or whatever, trying to fill in your pay and in slip with your yeah. quill and your fountain, your, your pot of pen, pen ink or whatever. Oh, dear. Well, Damien got um, lots of games and, and electronics. Oh, that all looks very electronic, doesn't it? Yes. And then probably some other stuff. Either you did or you didn't. You can't probably yourself. Josh says he is going to try. I, 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 I genuinely, I understand why people get a, get excited about holes like that because it's like, you know, I, I think I've only ever once seen, you know, a Game Boy for sale and they wanted far too much and so it used to see Wii's all the time and, you know... Mm. Just don't get excited about them at all. But you know, different different strokes, different folks, isn't it? There was a man at the cover this morning, and all he's got is just stacks and stacks of DVDs and video recorders. And I said to Josh, George would love it. George Ross would be like, "Yes, this is my this is my tribe. This is my." And I, just, even though I look at them, I go, "I know they sell for at least fifty quid each. I know they do. I can't be arsed. I don't love it. I don't love it. I've got one there sitting there. It's not listed. I've got the. I, I ordered the remote to go with it. I still haven't tested it. I just don't love it. Same. I just don't love it. <laughs> and I think that that's. It's part of the thing as well, especially for us, is the reason it doesn't seem like a job. Like, I, was I talking to you or was it Auntie Sue and Curly? I can't remember. About, um, you know, how I'm going to be working full time. 
So I'm going to do like a 35 hour week. That's the, you? that's the next experiment. So I'm going to okay. do I'm going to do a 35 hour week, right? And then I was like, "Oh, hello, Josh. Hello. So let, me, let me finish my story first, Josh, and then you can talk." All right. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll give you permission. Oh, you can see my mess. So I thought, okay, I'll do 35 hours in a week and see what happens. And then I was like, oh, but there'll be a day where I'll have to go, you know, like into town because I'll have to post something to America or something like that. Um, and, you know, if the charity shops are open, possibly have a little, it's like, oh, but that, that doesn't count as work though, does it? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> um, so I was like, oh, so I can't count those days because like, that's the bit that I enjoy doing. So that's not work. And it's like, wow, it is literally just the listing and photography that I consider as doing work. Yeah, and you can't do 35 hours of that a week because you can't source enough. Well, that's why I'm only, doing one, hours of that. I'm only doing one week. I'm only doing yeah. one week. Just to see how much I can get done. So yeah. one pure listing is going to be hell. Hmm. Well, it keep off the streets, which I think is important. Yeah, totally. Right, Josh, you're allowed to speak now. Show us your duck. I wonder if I can Hi. make him big. You think I can make him big? Oh, no, you'll see all my junk from the room. We can, can you hear me okay? I'm using here. webcam. Yeah, we can see all your junk anyway, Josh. Oh, it made me big. How do I make him big? Ask Laney. Laney, okay, yeah. Laney, how do I make Josh big? Hi, Shelley. I've got lots of. Oh, I've removed him. <laughs> so I put oh. him back. <laughs> Lady, click, click me, you? click, click me. I did, and you you fell out. Oh, right click. Oh, there you are. Hey. <laughs> right. Yay. Um, Fiona. Oh, that's from Shrek. Yeah, apparently this is one. the rare version of her. I paid three pounds for her. Um, eBay 20-ish, maybe? Don't know. I have to double check on that. I um, wasn't there when Josh bought that, and I would have loved to see his face when he was actually parking <laughs> with three pounds. She said three pounds. I was like, what? <laughs> 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 That's that six times um, what I know spent. <laughs> I know it's a bit expensive, and then I got like everything else from one pool. <laughs> so I've got how many ducks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten ducks. Ten ducks. Yeah, I've got ten <laughs> ducks. So I got, got these three to start with. Um, are any of them tiny? Yeah, these are little ducks. <gasps> they're small, but they're so not they're tiny. Like three sitting ducks. They're um, like molded. Oh, and uh, so I paid two pounds for the ten. So what's that? Twenty p a duck. Twenty p a duck. I mean, like I'd pay twenty p a duck. So I'm selling them. I then got two larger ducks. Oh, shell! I was going to say that. Sitting <laughs> ducks. I got two standing ducks. Oh, um, some God. of the conditions aren't too good on these. They're so good. I might ducks. just sell them. But it's um. Some paint chippies. What there are they and made stuff. of? Josh? It's difficult to see what they what they. Um, it's clay, right, so it's slip molded. Right, so they're no, pot they're pottery ducks rather than wooden. Pottery, yeah, right? yeah. So um, hmm. you you they would pour it into a mold and obviously take it out of the mold. I think someone told me the method of how they do it, and then I got three. The family of ducks. Aww. But they, yeah, the condition on them are not too great. But someone might want to do them up, like an art piece or something. And then the same stool, the same guy. I got two pottery bud vases. I don't know why I just like them. Um, they are stamped. Yeah, I don't know why you just bottom. liked them either. So <laughs> I need to look Josh. up the uh, the stamp. And then he threw these things in. I think that's a, a pottery egg cup. This has got a hole in it. It's like an egg cup. I don't know. And then he threw in a small little bud vase. That might have been an egg separator. This. It's a, yeah. an egg separator. Okay. Sorry, what did you say? I said it's an exceptional egg, egg, egg separator. You are extraordinarily funny. And then I got all of this. Hmm. <laughs> Shite. Yeah, that's not from this morning, though, is it? That's a lifetime's worth of stuff no. that you pretended to listen, not got round to. 
my room is an absolute pigsty. <laughs> but so, at least I'm in the house now. Oh, and I got this. It's house, by the way, people, if you're wondering what on earth's going on. Um, oh, yeah, that, that's uh, Silver, isn't it? Silver. It's about £10 worth. Yeah. 50p I paid for that. Is it a butter dish? Yeah. I think it's a planter. I think it's sold as a planter, because I thought it's a soap dish, but it's not. Uh, it, I, don't I don't think, think Silvac make butter dishes today. Lex is saying it might be the top of a butter dish, but no, it's got stuff on the bottom, so that would that would then oh, be no, it's, it's not that. I see. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely um, not or something. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, I think it's a planter. Yeah. But that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. says, well, why is it so funny? Is it so fuzzy? Is it cheap internet? Probably. Probably. Well, they've only just had the internet at your mum's, haven't they? Well, I'm paying fifty pounds for it. It's um five G internet. That's not working fully at the moment. I need to get Vodafone on it. No, no shit, it's not working. <laughs> probably need to build a mast. When I opened yeah, my new new good. aerial yesterday, I'm reading the instructions, and one of the instructions on my new new aerial is make sure there are no buildings between you and the TV mast. I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to achieve that? <laughs> how is this in my instruction booklet? Knock through. Yeah, what am I gonna do? Am I supposed to go out with a flipping with a with a tank and just plow a path between me and the nearest broadcasting mass? Yeah. And you just go, excuse me, I can't I can't get BBC. <laughs> yeah. The annoying thing yesterday was that all I could get was BBC, and then I tweaked it and then I could get anything but be at BBC. So it's one or the other. Sue wants to know why do the male YouTubers wear headphones? What are they listening to? Porn. We just wear yeah, it was just like headphones. It is a bit of a bloke. I treated these. These are new. When they stream, I got these the other day. It's because they just like the tech. Like you know, when you watch Z, and it's like fair enough. It is all lovely and clear, and you know he's got a bit of depth of field, and you know the lighting is nice, and we can hear you know perfectly, and that that's great. I don't give a shit though. And then you watch me, and I'm bellowing into the microphone, which is miles away, and I'm regenerating from one side because I can't get the fucking lighting right, and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I mean, same. So, like, oh, we all are. We're all regenerating somewhere or another. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't give a shit. <laughs> but I've got. I mean, I've got the whole headset thing. I've got it. I own the tech. I just don't. Yeah, but that, that's that's like me with you know editing my videos. I have got you know um, a proper HD like 1080p whatever filming camera type thing. And you know, I've got a road mic that goes on top of it. I've got the proper tripod. I've got a lighting system. I've got like the bounce things for bouncing lights off. Um, I've got proper lights. Um, I've got a Mac. I can edit. I can use Final Cut 7 and Premiere Pro and stuff. And do I do any of that shit? No. <laughs> <laughs> Julie oh, Coates, my son wears a headset almost all times, Ollie, even when he appears for his tea. He's a gamer. And Sue's pointing out that she still doesn't know what it is that you're listening to. I think they're listening to themselves. I think they've they've plugged themselves into the headphones so that they're listening to us through the headphones. It's like a vanity thing. They just want to hear their own voices. So if Mummy walked into the room now, she wouldn't hear what we're saying to Josh. Yeah. yeah. And it's because Josh watches a lot of pornography. So if Mummy walks in, he doesn't want her knowing. He can then very quickly, Violent, very quickly very click a new tab violent. on the screen and bring back up Rainbow Bright or whatever he's meant to be watching. And is it because your mum doesn't yet know that you're gay. Probably, yeah. She's met him, Lex. <laughs> She's met him. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, mummy. Hi. Hi. How are How's you? Good. How did the recce go? Twenty minutes there. Twenty minutes there. 10 minutes coming back. 10 minutes of shortcut. She found a shortcut. She ran home. Just oh, terrifying. I've run home. <laughs> three bags. And mum bought some compost on the way. Three bags. I, I borrowed a trolley. She's borrowed a trolley. I don't know what kind of person lets her mother carry three bags of compost around town. Right. I really don't. Stolen a trolley. You've stolen a trolley for all Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did ask. Kelly's saying, Carla, we use a Roku box for TV upstairs. Free view, Netflix, Prime, etc. runs off of the Wi-Fi. If, the, if this, if my if my fantastic new cables do not work on my new new aerial, unlike last week's new aerial, which is, I can't send it back because I've used the box or something else, um, then it might be moving on to this Roku thing because you're the second one who's mentioned that. 
I can also give you a selection of cables if that's your thing. I've got cables. Cables I've got. Everybody's screaming, hello, Mummy Sue. And Auntie Sue's pa's a shame saying, hi, young Sue. It's older than you, Sue. Mummy, Mummy is actually more, more popular than any of us. Mummy comes on the screen and the chat goes wild. They Mummy's all mum. stan Lex's mum. That's basically Mummy, it. Uh, she's making chutney this afternoon. Yes. Ooh, chutney. Green ginger chutney this afternoon. There we go. Nice. Mm. Yeah, everybody's saying, wait there. Everybody's waving at your mummy. Because everyone loves mummy. Uh, yay. So, yeah, very small haul for me. Losh, Losh, Losh. Who's Losh? Losh. Losh. I've just shortened you to Losh. <laughs> Losh. Josh doubled what I spent almost, didn't you, mate? And that never happens. And he never said it in the yeah. car on the way home, presumably because he was where I'd crash or something. Oh. The shock. I thought you said. Hello. 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 And now it's coffee time. Now it's what? Coffee time. Well, which was the best ones out of those um, sample coffees, Lex? Those little. Thing. Which was the best ones out of those sample coffees, Lex? Those little. Thing, Joby. Oh, I like the um, the amaretto was the first one I tried. That was really nice. The gingerbread one, um, the hazelnut one, and the vanilla one was nice. Yeah. Mm. It, to be fair, they were all nice, all of them. I'm not a big fan of orange going in coffee though. That one was a bit, mm, and the coconut one not so much as well. Because you mm. can taste the coconut. You couldn't what? Sorry. You couldn't really taste the coconut. Right. But they were they were all really nice. Hmm. Which ones? Yeah. And raspberries. Mum's done well. Mum's been foraging for compost yeah. and raspberries. Yeah. <laughs> Standard, <laughs> really. <laughs> so Josh, what are you gonna do about this 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 stuff behind you, mate? Have you got a plan? Cry. <laughs> it's not really a plan. <laughs> not long term anyway. <laughs> well, I don't know how well it's going to be, but it's just everywhere. Look at that. Just... Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah, whoa. oh um, my God. Did you move house Julie and carrier bags? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. I just got a bag, chucked in a bag, tied the bag in the car. <laughs> so is that um, all stuff yeah. personal belongings mixed yeah. up in that as well? There's like five bags of my clothes. I didn't have a lot of clothes at Dad's. It's just a lot of stock. That isn't listed. So have you got a plan for how you're going to do your storage? I mean, are you going to go rush out and buy Calax units like a proper reseller, or have you got a different something in mind? I know you're going to have my clothes rail, aren't you? He's going to have my, my heavy-duty mm -hmm. clothes rail that I took there. going here. Yeah. Um, I've got a bookshelf there, and I've got some shelving upstairs I'm going to use for listed stock for now before I buy some proper like industrial shelving. Josh, you know, for a game, terribly unorganised. Am I? He's only, he's only a young <laughs> game, though. Maybe maybe uh, organised comes with as you get older. My mate Scott is moving house. Uh, typically on my birthday is when they move in. So he's having to come down, like, in the week before for our birthday celebrations. Um, and he's been packed, no kidding, for, like, six weeks. <laughs> See, the problem with that, it's like when you pack for a holiday. If you do it too early, you end up unpacking because you need half the stuff you've packed. Yeah, yeah. Like I've lost my wallet in here somewhere, so I've got to go through every single bag and box oh, today don't, to don't look for my wallet. You don't, you don't use your wallet anyway. I need to buy insurance for my new car. <laughs> I've got a new car tomorrow and I've got no insurance. And next Saturday, you're coming out with us to the pub. Yeah, my new car. Oh, that's the point. You can drive in your new car. Oh, no, you can't. Sure. We've got socially distanced. Oh. Where am I? You'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be all right. Yeah. After my waffle last week, several people have sent me links to whole body condoms, so maybe we'll wear those. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, speaking of live auction, well, what I, I so this afternoon at 2 o'clock UK time, I'm going to be selling off bags of jewellery. What, on a live on a live stream? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so if you're not subscribed to Lex, then I don't I don't know why you wouldn't be, because why would you be here if you weren't subscribed to Lex? But if you're not, it's bad underscore biscuit, is that or is that just Instagram? It's, just bad biscuit. It's just bad biscuit, yeah. Just bad biscuit. Um so uh, two o'clock, did you say? Two o'clock. Yes. Two o'clock on Lex's channel. This is your chance to get bargains. Lex does good goodie bags. It's not just bags of shite. She does she puts nice stuff in. So oh Stool says he's gonna miss it. Oh well you know, for his birthday, I suppose. I, I think I think to be fair, Stephen, you've probably got enough stock as well. <laughs> Josh is not never gonna buy anything again now he's realised how much stock he's got. That's that's a funny I'm thing. Not allowed. Josh, Thanks. having realised how much stock he's got, went out this morning and spent more than usual. Now where's the what kind of psychological do 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 went on there? Josh. Your answer. Yeah. <laughs> How about you and me challenge next week, right? I'm gonna be working full time hours next week. I'm gonna work 35 hours. Like the original thought was I'm gonna do like nine till four every day, hour for lunch kind of thing. Um, however, there's going to be days where I want to go out for a mooch. I'm going to take mum for a coffee down in Costa because you can sit outside Costa and she is desperate to go for, sit outside and go for coffee. So we're going to do that at some point. But I'm going to do 35 hours over the course of the week. So do you fancy joining me and working full time? No one wants to work. <laughs> he doesn't want uh, to. That's why we do uh, this. No one actually wants to work full time. It's bullshit. That's why I'm only doing it for one week. Because I thought of doing it for a month and I was like, there's no way I can work for a month full time. Not I'm a not chance. There's a reason I haven't got a full time job. It's because I don't want a full time job. Mm, Susan, yeah. I've too. Absolutely not. I don't want a full time job. If I did an hour a day, I would feel like I'd worked hard. Yeah, same. I'm not even out of bed at nine o'clock. So I've already doomed to <laughs> start. Heather's saying you can include sourcing in your 35 hours. Yeah, but one, there's no way to source. Anyway, because our shops still aren't open, so that's out of the question. Um, but also, like, I would enjoy that too much, and I'd be like, "Oh yeah, I've done a full day's work," and it's like it's not. It's fun for me. Work is a bit that I don't enjoy, so I'm going to do 35 hours of the stuff that I don't enjoy. Are you doing it over Monday to Friday, or over the seven days? Monday to Friday, because I'm coming to see you on the Saturday. Well, that's what I mean. The Saturday could have counted as some working time for sourcing, if you see what I mean. No, I'm going to do 35 hours. Sue says she does 35 hours every week. She's just not very productive in those hours. I don't think I even put 35 hours a week into my life, let alone into my work. I'm, I'm going, going to try it. Kelly's on the way back to bed. Good night, Kelly. And I'm going back to bed in a minute as well. In fairness, I've got what I think is mild tonsillitis. Aww only mild i've got the very very achy heavy legs things which i've always had before tonsillitis and i've got the kind of please don't be ill don't be ill mm. no i won't be ill i won't be ill i'll be fine good i used to get it really really badly i used to get regular bouts of tonsillitis really horribly and then it got so bad one point that i actually ended up being hospitalized with it because it got to a point where i couldn't even swallow water Nothing would go down. My throat was closed up and nothing would go. And they hit me with massive antibiotics and drip stuff and all the rest of it. And I've never really got it as bad since then. I, I once had a really awful viral infection. Um, I had, okay, it was really terrible timing as well. Where I worked, Silver Screen had just closed down. And then like the next day I managed to get a job in Clear's Accessories. And then I worked in there for two days and then I had, I have never felt so ill ever in my life and never since. I had this viral infection, my throat swelled up entirely. I couldn't move, I was getting hot and cold. My sister ended up taking me to A&E because like I was, I was so awful. And I remember being sat in A&E and they took blood tests and everything. And then they were like, yeah, you've got a viral infection. My throat completely like, oh, it felt so horrible. They gave me these tablets. They were like, right, you've got to take these. And they were freaking like that. And I looked at them. I was like, how exactly am I going to do that? It's horrible. And then I went off your suppositories instead, love. Oh. And then I lost my job at Claire's Accessories after the like five days of which two of them I worked. And then the day after I got a job in Fox. 
<laughs> probably Claire's accessories he gave you. You probably had like glitteritis or something from being surrounded by all that pink glittery shit. Well, I think it's all the kids because kids yeah. are disgusting. They are disgusting. I was just... actually braved a first charity warehouse sale yesterday and spent about sixty pounds. Mm, well then, I've not sourced for a while. I hope we've got some good stuff. I generally I'm, no, no holding Caroline back on Wednesday. She was like, "Let me at it." <laughs> I honestly, I wonder if I've forgotten how to shop. No, it comes back to you. Honestly, I remembered. Okay. I remember. <laughs> like, oh, I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. I did get some good stuff. In fairness, for me, for me, half price monies. I got. I did better on Wednesday than I did um than I did today. And a new bag. Oh, I'm a new bag. Yeah, which is in the waffle. It's in the waffle. So nice. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to go back to bed in a bit, I think. And also, I didn't, I haven't slept very well for like four nights now. Four mm. nights of, of rubbish sleep. No, definitely back to bed with you then, and and you better be nice and well for next week. Yeah, I'll be fine. Then. Absolutely, tickety boo, yeah. tickety boo, flippy flop. It's been an hour, you know, peeps. Carrie says there's not much going on in Devon, so no holding us back. Yeah, Chris is saying they don't take tonsils out anymore. And, well, they, and after I had that nasty bout, they put me down to have my tonsils out. And then they sent me the um, the appointment. And because I hadn't got tonsillitis at the time and I was terrified of going to have them out, I cancelled the appointment. I didn't go. Hmm. I've going back years now. This is probably five or six years ago. And I've just not had it. Just not had it anywhere near as bad since then. So Chris Tyler says, sounds like she's in love. Sounds like who's in love? I'm in love with you. You're in love with me. Yeah. Because I'm lush. And also Josh as well. He's all right. I can't do, why can't I do that? I'm just fur dreaming here. It's fine. You're just what? Third, re third wheeling. Third wheel. You're oh, just a little gooseberry. Amy says gargle with warm, salty water, and I nearly said something inappropriate. Mm, I was thinking the same. Cat bum. <laughs> Cat bum. <laughs> Karen says, am I sure I'm not lovesick? I'm quite sure I'm not lovesick. I'm not lovesick in the slightest. <laughs> love is not a real thing, just so you know, people out there. And love, not a real thing. It's an abstract it's concept, just like money. <laughs> and I don't have oh, either. I don't have any. Yeah, animal love is different. I'm, that's that sounds really really wrong. I did not mean that the way it sounds. Animal sounded. lover, animal lover. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I'm, 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 Sue says, please don't go. I've only been up fifteen minutes. Oh Sue. Oh Sue. Carla's got to go back to bed. I've got to go down my hair. I thought Josh. Sue was meant to be going to bed nice and early these days, so she could get up in the morning. Didn't she have a new plan? Yeah. Going well. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got anything else to say, in fairness, apart from, um, no, not even apart from. I literally haven't got anything else to say. Unless we want to talk about my cables, or if at a push, I suppose I could go down to the garden and fetch the pegs. And uh, um, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to. I think we're done. Thank you so much to everyone for joining us this morning. You have been lovely in the chat, as always. Thank you to, I want to say, Bumblebee. Bumblebee, yeah. Thank you to Bumblebee for the massive super chat. That was incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. I will probably spend it next weekend when I take Lex to the pub. Even if we do have to sit outside the closed pub with a tinny. I'm with that. <laughs> Can a tenants Do they still make tenants extra or have I just shown my age? <laughs> totally fine with that. So thank you for the massively generous super chat. Lovely to see you on <laughs> Susan's more peg chat. Thank you um, for joining us. Thank you to Josh for popping in. Lovely to see you this morning as well. Congratulations. On, oh, God, bum, you stink. Oh, oh. Congratulations on outspending me this morning, Josh. Well done. Fucking hell. Oh, I think my eyes are melting. Oh, how She's dead. She's that? gone. He is <laughs> disgusting. Oh, it's really bad. It's a bad There's one. wrong with his inside. I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you, everybody in the chat. See oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, there will be no mask reseller this Wednesday. Is it not me? It is you. That's why we're not doing it. Oh, okay. It's, too, it's just too easy for people to guess when it's you. But yeah, yeah. there will be no mask reseller. Mask reseller. Mask reseller. I'm not doing it. That one. 
there won't be that this Wednesday because something else is happening that interferes with me being able to do that Wednesday night. And I was going to put it on a different night, but can you please get that cat's bum out of my out of my extremely professional broadcast? Thank you. <laughs> Um, so many other people do so much stuff on the other evenings that I didn't want to clash with anyone else. So we're just missing a week. We're just missing a week, but it'll be back the following week and then it might be next. You never know. So no masked reseller Wednesday night. Thank you to all for joining us. Have a lovely, lovely week. See you. Uh, but yeah, don't forget two o'clock Lex's live thing and um, see you then. Bye. Awkward Bye. wave. Awkward wave. Bye. Awkward wave.